disparity. In order to have a recovery for all and not just for some, LA needs more good jobs and a paycheck for families to sustain themselves, but at the same time, make our contribution to the services that the city provides. We have to create more jobs, but they've got to be better paying jobs. In some low wage industries, we have to replace the race to the bottom. Public investment is also important, like Measure R, which will spark growth in other industries. Prosper LA is, un is a unity of eight different coalitions, but each one working to transform one of LA's core industries. Together, we will create 50,000 new good jobs and improve over 150,000 more jobs. At the same time, we will benefit from improvements in air quality, health outcomes, energy efficiency, recycling, and others. A dysfunctional commercial waste system sends many tons of recyclables to landfills, pollutes our communities, and treats sanitation workers like trash. The Don't Waste LA Coalition seeks to replace this with a more efficient system, reducing pollution, pollution and creating good jobs by increasing recycling. Next, the Construction Careers Program will make sure that we build our transit system, but we give access to men and women who most need those jobs. Our policy of Destination LA, which will be introduced today by Ro uh, Council Members Rosendahl, Wissart, Alicorn, and Coretz. This is a policy that will make LA the best tourist destination in the country. Through that, we will grow business opportunities, grow new jobs in construction, hospitality, and the entertainment industries. Good grocery stores will bring healthy food and good supermarket jobs into our food deserts. We should not be given the false choice between good food and good jobs. We demand both in our communities. The Coalition for Clean and Safe Ports is transforming the port trucking industry from sweatshops on wheels into a green high road model for goods movements in ports around the world. Repower LA offers a roadmap to a more energy efficient system, allowing our Department of Water and Power to reduce pollution, lower rates, and create a training path to good middle class jobs. At LAX, we're proud of working on security standards for our traveling public, but we want an airport that works for travelers and also for the hard-working employees of LAX. Yeah, yeah. And, while we, and while we entrust to men and women in our, in our city to take care of our sick and our elderly, we have to take care of the home care givers that provide that to our sick and our elderly. So members of the City Council, we have to do more to stop poverty in LA. We have to do more to restore better paying jobs. We need smart government policies, but we will back up those smart government policies with a broad coalition of stakeholders that you see here today. We are asking you, we are asking you to support a shared prosperity for men and women across all of Los Angeles, not just the 1%, and not even just the 99%. We want prosperity for 100% of our economy. With that, we thank you. Buenos dias. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. God, when you leave, the place will be empty. Thank you again for coming. I was to do a chant as we leave? You chant, okay. chant your way out.
Okay. The, their chanting was part of their presentation. We're going to start our council, continue with our council meeting. Thank you guys for the chance, but now we, we need to go back to work. Okay, Maria Elena, okay, guys, guys, enough, enough, enough. Now let us get back to work. Thank you, thank you, and good luck to you all. If I could get Michael Carrion, Marianne Fogler in the Valley, and Donna Pierman in the Valley, but Michael, you're up now. Michael. My question is the same as it was last time. Mr. President, I thought we were going to start at 10 o'clock. Michael, I sure wanted to start at 10 o'clock. Can we please start at 10 o'clock and tell the public who was late? The public out there has a right to know, but they don't. All that happens is when we're listening at home, we don't know why it's not starting. Mr. Weezer walked in at 10.33. This is the fourth Monday in a row where Mr. Weezer walks in late. Tuesday. Or Tuesday, my, my, my bad, thank you. Wednesdays, he walks in late too. Oh, right. Mr. Weezer was excused.